up. Yes, and David is already laughing at us. Wait, how can you be <laughs> laughing at us already? <laughs> I don't even do anything. <laughs> and, and David's saying, hey, I wasn't done dancing to that. <laughs> <laughs> well, are, do, do you guys like the Rupert theme there? Do you? I, I like the Rupert theme. It's the Rupert spy theme. <laughs> Yeah, that one cracks me up a little bit. Thank you guys for joining us this morning. Thank you for being a part of the network. And thank you for liking, commenting, and sharing on yes. all of these videos. Thank you. <laughs> we do appreciate it. It does make a difference. And for it those does. of you on YouTube, thanks for giving us the thumbs up and dinging that little bell. And what about uh, Twitter and Twitch? Twitter has, uh, which is Periscope for the video, has a little heart thing with Diggy. And Twitch... Mm. <laughs> you guys can go over there and twitch, I guess. <laughs> I was going to say thanks yeah. for the twitch. <laughs> <laughs> I have oh, no idea how that, you know, I, I just know we broadcast to it just in case it uh, it starts picking up steam when when Mr. Bezos decides that he's going to rule this side of the world. It, that that thing will probably that, squish YouTube. Yeah, and definitely. so we need a presence there. Just in case. <laughs> gotta hedge our bets, man. The digital apocalypse. Plus, plus it's nice to um, be able to get the gamers um, involved with us. Yeah. Uh, don't get me started on the gamers, man. <laughs> Again, yesterday with the Facebooks, with the Facebooks, they're like, you should you should monetize your videos. Uh, and I'm like, yes, I would love to monetize my videos by broadcasting your gaming streams. I'm like, what? What, is that? what, is that? what? I don't play games on your stupid platform. <laughs> Isn't that like those farmy games and stuff like that? I don't know. But it's like, you, you should monetize your gaming streams. I don't have gaming streams, you morons. <laughs> See, <sighs> they're not the ones I was talking about no. when it comes to gaming. But I was were... talking to actual gamers. Oh. Okay. Not not Zuckerberg and his idea of, oh, we know exactly what you want. Well, it's like they don't <laughs> even know what the heck we're doing over uh, here, isn't it? Pretty much. Like, we do not broadcast gaming streams. <laughs> Use your algorithm or pull it out of your bunghole and let's figure this out, <laughs> shall we? Renee is saying hello. Hello, Hi, Renee. Renee. <laughs> Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Oh, boy. Uh, it's Friday. Yes, it is. Friday. <laughs> <laughs> and for those of you that uh, have recycling days on Friday, it's that day. <laughs> but there, there is apparently some some kind of uh, I don't know some kind of angst or something with the whole recycling thing. Apparently, they don't recycle it, or they do sometimes, but mostly they trash it because of it's mixed with other stuff. So you know, basically, it's it's trash day part two. Part two. Yeah. <laughs> Which is what it used to be. <clears throat> well, this is what it used to be. Before before we had recycle day on Friday, we had two trash days. And then, like, out of the blue, one day, a long time ago, without my consent, I might add, <laughs> they decided to take away one of our trash days and make it recycle day. And and then now they don't recycle. So I don't understand. Well, you know, the the funny thing is, is, is um, we have that... Nationally, we have this issue with uh, China not accepting our recyclables anymore. Yeah, they're and tired of taking our trash. They are, <laughs> <laughs> and and you know our our service has gone up in front of the city council and said, "Hey, you know, we just want to let you know we are addressing this, but at least for the public, mm -hmm. they haven't." Stated exactly what they're doing. Basically, nobody knows <laughs> what in the hell is going I don't, on. I don't know if they've talked to the council, you know, I don't know. in the city off off sides, know. but uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we we know. We how. have no idea what's going on, but no. apparently it's recycling day for those of you that it's recycling. Renee says Friday. Yay, Friday. <laughs> you seem so, so out of it today. So, so close. What is wrong with you, man? <laughs> It's Friday. Can I go now? N no. But it's so close. <laughs> huh? Huh? Uh, no. And 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 you even have you know in in today's title it's morning cup of frivolous Friday. Yes, frivolous. <laughs> Means it's pointless, man. <laughs> Whoa, is me. Oh my. Uh, wait, uh, no. oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm just I, I'm I'm not feeling it, man. Why? I don't know. You're you're supposed to oh excuse me always be 
feeling it. I'm always supposed to be feeling it? Well, yeah. 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 Who says? Uh, um, you do as, uh. as LPNN. <laughs> hey, you're part of LPNN. <laughs> I know, and I'm feeling it today. Oh, all right. Well, that, at least, that, you know what? 50% is better than no percent. Oh, no. <laughs> Huh? Guess you get to carry the load today, Lois. Oh, Lord. <laughs> no, I will trip you. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I got to cut across to get to the door. <laughs> oh, so my goodness. Mean, man. So, so, mean. so you're you're mentioning... I'm not that... going, we're not going into that yet. Is that what you're talking about? No. I had more stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, we have more stuff so I want to talk about before we jump into your, your little links. Oh, oh okay. Because if we jump into it right now, we'll be done in about ten minutes. <laughs> It'll be a little longer than that, but okay. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so uh, last night uh, you you uh, you were out doing a live broadcast for yes. the new charter school. Yes. Did you learn anything? I did. It was it was rather interesting. Right. Um, the process. Holy crow! Huh? What? The process in starting a school um, to begin with. And and then let alone a charter school. Is it a pain? Oh, holy! You know, and I was I was <laughs> talking to one of the the people last night before we went live, hmm? and asking why it's taking so long. You know, because they're they're anticipating opening for the twenty twenty one school year. Oh, I thought it was twenty 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 one. Uh, yeah. Oh, the okay. twenty. Dash. <laughs> yeah, twenty 2020 twenty to twenty twenty one school year. So. um... <clears throat> Excuse me, and and there's there are a lot of things. One of the things I learned that they actually didn't talk about uh, last night was part of their process because I was asking you know where they were going to be located if they had you know um, figured out a location here in town for it, and they said well actually when it comes to buildings it has to be a certified educational facility. What? Yes. Any facility that is built has to be certified for education. Certified by who? I, probably DOE. <clears throat> Excuse me. So the feds have to come down and say, oh, uh, no. <laughs> or, oh, uh, maybe. Uh, probably. You know, so, I mean, I, I, there are so many things that they have to go through. They're not paying in the book. Right. <laughs> so, you know, I was thinking maybe, maybe the reason they're anticipating it being so long is you know um, to to open is because trying to get the community around the, nah, uh nope nope it all has to it all boils down to regulation and all the steps that they have to take wow and, yeah look at the red tape for that one that's exciting <laughs> well thank you big brother <laughs> now one of the things that um, was mentioned was that um, we we have a high school here uh, Seattle High School yes. they are actually um, in talks about possibly letting letting this charter school use a portion of their facility. Oh. So it'll make the, the process easier. Because it's already be through the fight. It, yes. <laughs> so, I mean, so, but, it was, Well, you're, you're making it sound... So originally it said it was the outdoor academy. I figured they was going to have like a tent in the desert. <laughs> no. So no tents in the desert. <laughs> no tents in oh, the desert. Right. Um, it's See going the to be... Tumbling, tumbling. It, it's actually going to be an indoor-outdoor. Indoor-outdoor... Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. So they have yeah. a lot of field trips or something? Uh, pretty much. Oh. Um, they, I like their idea better. Th a tent in the... <laughs> it's an outdoor academy. <laughs> uh -oh. No, I, I, I honestly think um, a lot of parents would have issue with that since since their their lowest grade is going to be kindergarten. <laughs> <laughs> outdoor builds character. 120 degrees in the summer. And 20 degrees in the winter. Uh, no. <laughs> and then it's really windy, so we, you can say, oh, the wind blew my homework away. And everyone will believe you. <laughs> so David is saying we don't want want their trash and they don't want ours. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Renee <laughs> says we had a charter school once upon a time. The facility is being used for something else now. That doesn't surprise me. <laughs> Dry good storage or something. Yeah, yeah probably. Right. Um, so that is but interesting. It is, it is. And their whole idea is going away from the conventional institutionalization of, of schools. Oh, you mean um, no more padded rooms? Uh, pretty much. <laughs> so what they want to do is they want more, they want to do more hands-on that follows the curriculum rather than, oh, just read a book and take a test. 
Taking tests is worthless. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, man. Who am I supposed to test? Do you know what the heck is going on? No, but I passed the test. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, and they they want to try to fix that, oh, and that, that's that's their whole goal. Um, and uh, so they're looking at you know doing field trips out into the desert, looking at the different rocks, looking at the different plants, and actually putting practical application to what they're learning. Wait, what practical <laughs> application? <laughs> what? You mean people might actually learn stuff? I know, right? <laughs> I'm <Scary> suspicious. <laughs> I am suspicious. So, um, their goal is to eventually be a large facility, but uh, they want to start off small. Oh, okay. Um, and sense. and uh, be able to get into the swing of things, get their name out there. And by swing of things, do they have a playground? I, I do not know. I, I would think as an outdoor academy, the entire desert is there. This is true. This is why I said a tent in the desert, man. <laughs> All right, so, well, that's pretty good. I mean, it is. It is a really cool thing. Um, and at, they're currently in the first phase, uh, the development phase, and then they then they have to go to the state, prove that what they're doing is within line mm-hmm. of uh, Department of Ed, and all of that fun stuff, and apply for grants, um, so they can actually. I'm getting a headache, Lois. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff they got to go through. It is. <laughs> so, um, they in in the meantime, they you know on their Facebook page, they do they will be putting up videos um, on what they are, who they are, what they plan oh, okay. on doing, everything that they went through last night. Okay. Um, along with some some other information, because last night they were it was their first public meeting, mm-hmm. uh, just to let the public know who they are, oh, obviously, right, right, right. Um, what you know a generalization of what they plan on doing, and uh, to get some input and feedback from. The community. Oh, okay. And was there was there like good questions, good give and take at the meeting? Actually, they didn't ask any. Um, they they weren't wanting people to ask them because it would take so long. Uh, and so okay. what they did was they actually had the audience fill out forms. And so they're. Um, so I'm, what you're saying is they were teaching the audience. No, uh, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> and and ask their questions there. And what they're going See to do they <laughs> is they're going to address those questions on their Facebook page. Oh, okay. Because you never know. We so may have. Active on their Facebook. Page? They are. They are. Um, okay. And they're getting more so. Cool. Uh, so yeah, I Fun. I thought it was I thought it was really interesting. And if you guys missed it, it is on our Facebook feed. Um, Yes, go but to the yeah. Facebook page. It's down below. Or you can click on the video thing. We've got tons of videos. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, what do you got? Marilyn says, our school system is rated D. Dave says, D for deplorable? <laughs> <laughs> no, and, it's D for D. <laughs> <laughs> and Marilyn says, yep. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, I mean, it, it is. it sounds like it's going to be a really good thing. Um, they're, they're wanting to... I believe to, it when I see it. I, right. I, and that's why I said it sounds like it's going to be a really good thing. The road to hell um, is paved with good intentions. This is true. <laughs> um, but, you know, like, like one of the people I was talking to last night said, now is the time. Yeah, you know, uh, there, there is more of a push for schools like this, uh, rather than the regular institutional. So it may be the... Whenever you, know, you say institutional, all I can figure is a padded room. Oh, well, that's... I mean, in all honesty, <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> but you don't put pads on the rooms in there. No, so they, they don't. Mm, mm, banging and, their head on the wall, it yeah, causes more they, damage. They don't put pads in the rooms because the kids would be truly bouncing off of them <laughs> to see how far they could go. Yeah, I could see that happen. I know I would be. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, it was it was a good cool. thing. And uh, I'm excited to uh, see what they what they come up with and what they have. All right, that works. So, yeah. And then the other thing you covered yesterday that was important, or well, we covered. I was there. Oh yes, yes. The Elks Lodge. The Elks Lodge gave some money to the police department for shop with a cup. Yes. Where uh, unfortunate uh, or less fortunate kids uh, get to shop with police officers and for the Christmas. fire department for Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> Which was cool. Yeah. That, was, that was that was a lot of fun. That's a lot of neat stuff. They're, they're going to be looking for some more money. So stay tuned for that stuff so that they can get all kinds of toys and goodies for the kids. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty neat, though. I, I did it, enjoy it that. Is. It, it <clears throat> is. And evidently, they were able to do it last year. And uh, they're hoping to do it again next year. 
Oh, okay. But they have to be able to, you know, raise funds. <laughs> I think they, they said they were shooting for, for like 100. Last year they got really close. There was like 89 kids they were right. able to actually help out. So yeah. that's pretty cool. Yeah, it is. Let's see and if we can help push them over 100 this year. I know, right? That would be amazing. That's a good cause, man. It is. It is. I like it. <laughs> I like it. All right, well, well I, I, I guess ahead. now it's uh, time to quit, right? Uh, uh, no. Uh, what? Come on. Really? Really? You even said, before we started this line of conversation, you even said we weren't going to go into mine because it would take 10 minutes. Yeah, and now I've gone 10 minutes, it's time to go. Oh. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> what are you itching to do on this Friday? I don't know. Go back to sleep? No, I'm, not, I'm just going <laughs> to... I know. Uh, <laughs> Oh, I don't no. like it, man. Oh, no. Don't want it, don't want it. Oh, goodness gracious. Yeah, I know. Well, I figured one of the things I wanted to bring up, because uh, we were talking about this yesterday, and our, our people from Behind the Hat Unplugged actually got to see this yesterday. Okay. I thought maybe I would I would show our newest product in the line. Oh, okay. Do you want to see what the newest yeah, yes, product is in the line? It, was, it actually went live yesterday, but, uh, you know. It's it, it's it's classified. It's classified. It's classified. Ah! Which means you can't buy it. Oh wait, yes you can. <laughs> oh no. Hold on. I, I I figured people get a kick out of this because it made me chuckle. That's why I made it. <laughs> oh no. What? <laughs> you, you be nice, Lois. You be nice. I'm trying to get it resized here. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, maybe. Ah, come on. <laughs> See, this thing and, is and, such a pain in the neck. And and you you give me flack about you know putting up pictures and stuff like that that you have to there resize and couldn't plan for, and and you had already planned for this and and didn't set it up. I forgot. <laughs> I didn't want. It. I didn't want. It. So this oh. is our new sweater right here. <coughs> Excuse me. This is our new sweater that is available on Amazon.com. I like it. I, yeah. I want one in the gray. You want one in the gray? We yep. can't afford them, Lois. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Christmas is coming and Mama Lois is coming out. That's true. Mama <laughs> Lois is coming. Everybody beware. <laughs> Mama <laughs> Lois is coming. Yes. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, this is, our, this is our, our newest offering we have here. And I believe this one gives us like 7 or $8 towards the cause. Eight, yes. Which is, you know, it's one of those things. But you can go to Amazon.com, and this is LPNN hashtag RPT sweater. <laughs> so you can, you can type that in. And for those of you that don't remember, RPT stands for Rocket Propelled Turtle. Yes. That is, that and, is how we got the name Rupert for Rupert. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Pretty much. And it it does have the uh, Latin. Yes, there is the Latin version. You know, it's kind of wily coyote esque, and uh, shock. it's uh, what I you said. Don't shock. Like it. And it says uh, <laughs> it says uh, volubilum ignis reptilium, which is rolling fire reptile. <laughs> <laughs> So, anyway, I, I got a kick out of it. It made me chuckle. So, if you guys are interested, uh, check out Amazon.com. You can just type in LPNN RPT sweater, and uh, it should pop right up there. And what happened to the hoodie? I, I well. <laughs> I went, no, what happened to I the spent hoodie? a while sticking this together, and it's a pain in the neck to get everything centered and aligned, and I got it all ready to go. And then I, I tried to put it on the hoodie. But it was the, the template that I used was for the tea, or for the the sweater and not the hoodie. <laughs> so the hoodie will be up today. <laughs> it was an accident, man. <laughs> I spent all this time getting ready, and then I'm like, oh, it didn't work again. So yeah, you know, that was that was annoying. So, oh, uh, that's funny. That was exciting. That is hilarious. So for now. We now have a sweatshirt. <laughs> yeah, this is an actual sweatshirt. They have they have what's called a long sleeve t shirt, which doesn't really make sense to me. They have a sweater, and then well, so that's what this is, and then we will do the hoodie today. <laughs> oh, and, it, and it comes in different colors. Look, it, it does. We have, there's, oh, okay. a, there's a gray one. Ooh, there's a blue one, and then there's the the what navy. navy. So, <clears throat> unfortunately, it says on there. It says pick up to five colors. There's five colors. <laughs> Just saying. Like, you think so you might give us a little bit more option here. Why are there only four? Oops. <laughs> oh, no, I remember. <laughs> I remember. No, no. no, no, no. <laughs> oh, I'm getting laughed at. Yeah, you are. <laughs> so, 
the fifth color was kind of a black color, and it kind of washes everything out. Oh, okay. That makes so, sense. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that's why I didn't choose black. So there was these four colors in black, and I was like, well, black doesn't really work for what we're doing here. So <laughs> not without going back and completely changing the design and making the letters white instead of black. So <laughs> see, ah, I tell, see, I have an excuse. Oh, there you are. <laughs> Renee says, hide your pets and children. Mama Lois is coming. Yeah, yeah only because she will spoil the bejesus out of them and oh. then give them back. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, and the same. This speaking of which. That's like what a lot of people do. A lot of a lot of in laws, relatives, other people, you know, friends and things like that. They do the same thing with children. They will spoil them and give them back. And it reminds me of taking a can of soda, shaking it up, and then here you go. <laughs> it's that's, like no. That's pretty much what yeah. she does. <laughs> Have this. And it's like ah, oh, ah, no, not but again. She, and 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 Renee's right. She does that with the dogs too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the dogs, that, you know, it's funny because, you know, people usually have that thing around the holidays where they gain a bunch of pounds and stuff. The dogs do that whenever Grandma <laughs> Lois is. It's, they go. Uh-huh. <laughs> yep. And they're like. <laughs> <laughs> like, no. <laughs> and Tinker definitely does not need that kind of assistance. Oh, I'm just, I'm <laughs> and then the other one uh, that we talked about yesterday, we'll go ahead and bring that up. I, I brought the pink one. Ah, is I am the network. <laughs> yeah, I like it. I, I like it. Network. See now, now um, I I I do need to get the the sweater because now is the time of year where I can get away with wearing sweaters, mm -hmm. and so that way I could have the LPN and logo every oh, morning show. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I suppose, you know, if, if we sell probably, I don't know, 15 of them, we might be able to afford one. Oh, my goodness. I'm just saying. <laughs> but, then, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get there, Lois. We'll get there. Yes, we will. Um, Gina says, I hope I get to meet her. She sounds amazing. And She's Renee, crazy. <laughs> and Renee says, typical grandma. Yeah. Yep. Shake it up and hand it back. <laughs> <laughs> get it away. Get it away. <laughs> Yes, oh and you said goodness. you wanted to try and squeeze Mama Lois into the morning cup? Yes. Oh, that's going to be interesting. Well, that's going to be also interesting because I do have another relative coming out at the end of November. Okay. And she really wants to be on the morning oh, cup, too. I forgot. that. Yeah, but she wants to be. Mama Lois, I don't know. Does she want to be on the morning cup? Probably not. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> she, she's a very angry individual. <laughs> but like, no, no. No, she's the, not. The morning cup is supposed to be fun. Yeah. <laughs> she's not. In, in we'll put her on controversy and she'll light some stuff on fire. I Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Have to be ready with the bleeper. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no kidding. Um, <laughs> no, Ma um, you know, Mama Lois is not an angry person. It's well, just, she's the stereotypical. <laughs> Mama I, Lois. Yeah. There's I, only one. I, I, there I, can be only one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she is, she's, um, and, and I love her to death. She cracks me up. Um, she is the stereotypical old person that, you know, Stuck in stuck in her ways, and it, it, I don't like change. She wants. <laughs> let me give you an example of this here. Okay, she recently purchased a new vehicle, new used vehicle, <laughs> <laughs> because her other one, you know, having issues, whatever. She wanted something that was newer and nicer, and she got it, and she liked it for the first day or two, and then she realized it did not have a CD player in it because cars don't come with CD players anymore. Everything is. You know, Bluetooth or USB, or you could put an auxiliary cable in. She wanted to return it so that you know that she could get a vehicle with one in it, and they don't have them. <laughs> and she was a very, very cross about something. <laughs> she still is. She is still very angry that there's not a CD player in her vehicle. It's the change thing, man. It's the change. Um, <laughs> Gina says I'm a bit crazy myself. <laughs> I'm, I'm not a bit crazy. I'm freaking nuts. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, she wanted to return the vehicle because it didn't have a CD player, and then she yes. wanted to take it in and make them put one in it. <laughs> they don't make one for that, <laughs> you know. But uh, yeah, it is—it's the whole change thing, yeah, you know. It is, it is. And and every once in a while, she'll remind me of um, Clint Eastwood's character in uh, Gran Torino. <laughs> 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 Get off my lawn. <laughs> Get off my lawn. 
I can but, see. Uh, but I mean, when, I can see her as Dirty Harry too. Uh, oh my! <laughs> Go ahead, make my day. <laughs> Good job. Are you feeling lucky, punk? <laughs> I mean, you know, I, I can see it, man. But, you know, she is retired. She, she uh, yeah. And when, when you get to that age, I mean, seriously, when you, you know, get to the age. Now that you bring this up, I, and I know we've talked about this before is a joke, but it might actually be a good thing. You know, when, when you when you go out to businesses and you talk to them about possible sponsorships, they're like, oh, well, we'll get back to you. If we send her out to do the same thing, she might bite people. <laughs> and no, like, okay, okay. No. <laughs> Mama Lois does not need to be in jail for assault. <laughs> ah, they won't. Are you kidding me? They'd come up and they'd be like, what did you do? And she'd like, ah. They're like, okay, never mind. We'll come <laughs> Renee says, so when she gets here, put one in for her. Um, she's not driving. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> No, and it's a new vehicle, so trying to do that is like... <laughs> yeah, no, no. You have to replace the entire center console of the dash. It has it has a built-in touchscreen unit. It's got the whole... Not- yeah. I mean, it's got a really nice setup, but there's not a CD hole in it, so... <laughs> yeah, and and so, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we have plans, Renee, um, but it is going to take uh, Mama Lois driving out. Uh, to be able to do it. Yes. And, and then, th- yeah, there were other issues for that as well. <laughs> we won't get into. <laughs> oh, <coughs> my me. goodness. All right. Well, but, uh, yes. <laughs> I guess let's go ahead and jump into your stuff. So, you about. were talking about today being recycling day. Yes. Okay. Now, down the street from us, and, and what was it? Uh, last week, we were talking about putting googly eyes. On, oh, the googly eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, now, uh, a house down the street from us actually has, the, for Halloween, they have put googly eyes on the recycling <laughs> Yeah, they've got giant googly eyes on the recycling can. It's amazing. Oh, it's just down so the street. Gina's like saying, what about one in the trunk? Huh? All right, we could put like a six-disc CD changer and run a wire and stuff, but then you'd have to do this and that. There'd be a remote control involved that all hell would break loose, so no. No. <laughs> Um, uh, Mama Lois does a lot of shopping, mm-hmm. and uh, she's always taking the dog with her, so I could see that getting broken within a week. Well, I was just <laughs> going with the whole remote control. There's more There's more buttons involved. Mm-mm. And, uh, well, Ooh. yeah, that too, and, and I could see... I could see her getting frustrated at trying to uh, put CDs in and change things around. and <laughs> Not good, man. Not good! <laughs> Just have to get her, you know, we'll load up a, a USB drive and, and be like, this is what you do, put it in and beep, 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 and done. And, 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 and really, it is like we were talking yesterday with the whole tech support thing, mm-hmm. you know, asking her what model is it, and, and it, it, her response <laughs> would be laptop. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So, yeah, pretty much. So, <laughs> for any of this to happen, Mama Lois would actually have to move here. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. Because <laughs> doing this over the phone doesn't work. <laughs> I've been trying for years. Well, that's like when you call her on the phone or she calls you. She she has interesting issues with her phone. She does. And it's that damn phone. That it, phone is just broken. <laughs> All six that she's bought to replace the problems have the same problem. <laughs> Oh, just oh, <laughs> and don't get us wrong. We 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 love my mom. We really do. Oh yeah, <laughs> she's <it's> right. So <laughs> funny. <laughs> and she has a huge heart. Oh yeah, I, you know it just. There Definitely. are just some things where it it's these stereotypical senior moments. <laughs> I have senior moments. I know, but you're not a senior, so it's not as funny. <laughs> I think it was funny. I'm going senile in my young age. Oh, no. Although I feel old. <laughs> there you go. Especially tonight. I don't know why. I'm just like... <laughs> oh, my. oh, no, that's not good. <laughs> So, okay, I've got a couple of things, a um, couple of stories that have started to go viral. Uh-oh. Now, one of them, uh, um, we're talking about Mama Lois, hmm? okay? Now, m- my mom, she loves her dog. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <sighs> <What? Was> so- <laughs> oh. <laughs> she loves her, <laughs> oh, no. Um, <laughs> Renee says, laugh out loud, she sounds like my mom. She hates her phone and now wants a tablet to complain about. <laughs> I know, right? This thing won't work. <laughs> no, it works um, 
That's um, fine. <laughs> David says uh, she sounds universal. <laughs> it's great. It, and it's Oh, right. no. Dave says, I want to try tech support for Mama Lois now. Challenge accepted. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that would be funny. It, it is a lot of fun <laughs> trying to do it. On, it, it just gives it us is. a giggle. <laughs> and you know, a lot of times you'll like call her or she'll call you, and there's no sound. And you're like, hello. hello. <laughs> <laughs> and and contrary to normal things, it's not a butt dial. <laughs> and but now, somehow she's managed to mute the phone. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And there's. And it happens on 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 a regular basis. <laughs> it's like, don't push the mute button. <laughs> this button? No. <laughs> it cracks so, me up every time. So, um. <laughs> oh boy, that was mom, broken. Mom, Mama Lois's dog. Oh, you, every dog. That is one complaint that I have about about talking with Mama Lois on the phone. Oh, I will be in on the other side of the house. You'll have her on speakerphone. That dog. Whines more than and she any, doesn't whine. Whatever that noise is, <laughs> it's like some kind of weird chirping whining. It is a chirp. It's like, <laughs> and I can hear it across the building. And it's like, what the hell is wrong with that dog? He's got to be some kind of short in its brain. And no, um, mom actually had her DNA tested, and apparently. Uh, that chirp comes from um, Rhodesian Ridgeback. Rhodesian? What the, so you're telling me it's genetically predisposed to chirp like a, a bird that's getting molested? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> there is something wrong with it. That would drive me pet crap crazy. I'm just saying. Oh, I'd be like, <laughs> Dave says. Dave says I used to have to support oil workers remotely. Remind me to tell you about explaining how to turn on a laptop. To one another. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I just that? choked on air. <laughs> you found an air bone? How do you find yeah, an I, air bone to choke on? Really? Never mind. <laughs> I trip over air. Come this, on. Is true. this is true. But anyway, yeah, that dog. I, don't, I mean, I'm sure it's a lovable thing, but wow! <laughs> that would drive me nuts. It, it does. I mean, it your dogs drive, drive me nuts when they start whining and wiggling and tippy tapping all over the floor and they're excited and bouncing and it gets louder and louder and it's like, ah! But that one is like a constant noise and it's not like it's a small noise. It thinks it's now, what makes it even worse loud. is, is um, it's when they're in the car. Uh-huh. And typically, that's when, what your mom calls. Uh, yeah, pretty much. And and um, what what's going on is apparently the dog is on the armrest uh-huh. and she's doing this in mom's ear. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. I'm sure she's a very noble dog. <laughs> and and Renee saying she's a parrot. <laughs> it's, it's crazy it, it loud. Is. It is. And it's constant. It's so strange. <laughs> so strange. So, anyway, getting back to what where the... I've been trying to go. Oh. Um, um, Mama Lois loves loves her dog. Yes. And and she actually did this with um, her other dogs. Okay. Um, and she will give them treats. Hmm? Well, one yeah, of we were the, talking about that yesterday where she eats them. Uh, right. But one of They're the treats, treats one of the treats that she will give every once in a while is a mini and I think it's like this big. Oh, okay. A right. mini cone from McDonald's. Wait, ice, ice cream? cream? <gasps> <laughs> yes. I bet that's exciting. However, <laughs> there's a reason I bring this up. Is that to try to lube up the squeak coming out of the dog? I mean, <laughs> and put a greaser on it so you can oil it. <laughs> so, so, there, there, this thing has gone viral. Okay? All right, what do you got? What do you got? <laughs> now, you cannot tell me after Is this. Is it this one? Nope, it's this one. Oh, okay. All right, hold on, hold on. You cannot tell me after this. That uh, McDonald's is not addictive. McDonald's is not addictive. Well, it's all, it's all the sugar and stuff in there, and there's just. Oh, I'm just saying. You cannot tell me. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. Maybe, <laughs> maybe. So this is coming out of Oklahoma. <laughs> I saw this yesterday. <laughs> oh, 
this is cute. It, it is. It is. However, there's another link in this. Uh, okay. I, I, I did this for the, the um, headline. Well, let me go ahead and read the headline then, because nobody knows what you're talking yes. about. All right, so, dog pretends to be a stray to get hamburgers from McDonald's. <laughs> I so could he's actually like running see... around out there begging for people to like feed me. Yeah, that that's pretty much it. That's cute. <laughs> the owner doesn't think so. Well, no, I'm what? sure I'm sure it's causing some issues. <laughs> it, it is. Now you need to go back to. Oh, you're thinking about Yeah, and the link right below this it. This one. Yep. All right. This is the actual Facebook post from the owner. Okay. And like I said, this this has started to go viral. <laughs> Now, we're going to have to clean up the language a bit, but... <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you want me to read this yeah, here? Uh-huh. All right, so this is a Facebook post here. If you see my dog at the McDonald's on Shields, quit feeding her fat bleep because she don't know how to act and be leaving the house all the time to go walk into McDonald's at night. She's not even a stray dog. She's just a gold digging bleep. Bleep. <laughs> that be acting like she's a stray so people will feel bad for her and feed her burgers. What? It's got a picture of the dog. <laughs> this is epic. Hold on. I'm going to see if I can pull that up because it's Without the, the post. Yes, without the post. We can't put all the bleepity leaves in there. Now, <laughs> now, now, she discovered her dog was acting weird. Okay. It was because she couldn't walk? I, they, they don't... The articles don't go into it. <laughs> now, she, she discovered, that, you know, so so the dog was acting weird, and she yeah. figured, okay, well, something's going on at night. Uh, okay. And so what she did was she stayed up all night and followed her dog. That's where this picture comes ah, from. Ah, ah, she ah, followed ah. her dog and watched people actually feed her dog. <laughs> <laughs> so her dog was escaping at night. Yes. Go, it's like a Disney movie <laughs> gone wrong, man. That is hilarious. So it's like, wow, I could actually see with, with uh, Mama <coughs> Lois feeding her dog yes. the little mini cones, I could see her dog doing this because really... <laughs> That's the dog outside of McDonald's. That is funny. So she followed it from her house. Yes. The dog didn't notice or what? Apparently not. That dog had like, I must get my Mickey yeah, I know, right? I need my fix, man. I need my fix. I was like, wow. That is like, and look at that face of innocence. Like, look at me. I'm stray. Feed me. Pretty much. People are falling for it. That's amazing. <laughs> Bad dog. Bad dog. <laughs> <laughs> or a smart dog. We need what you need, the dog needs. One of those those shaming signs. On uh, pretty much. My dog pretends to be stray so she can get fed McDonald's. <laughs> so yeah, it just uh huh. That's pretty good. I like it that. is. It I is. Like that. So nobody can tell me that McDonald's is not addictive now. <laughs> pretty much. I mean seriously, <laughs> because if the dog is figuring out how to escape. Just to go eat McDonald's. Well, not just how to escape, but then they found the McDonald's. They go back on a regular basis because it's successful. So they've, like, perfected right. the art of the begging. It, yes, she has. <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious, man. Oh. Oh and that, pet, that that post is pretty funny. It, it is. This is Oklahoma it, City. It is. It is. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, oh, the Lord. owner is actually trying to figure out how... And, and what she needs to do to uh, uh, fix things so the dog will stay in. Um, I don't know, lock up your fence better or something? I mean, how's it getting out of this? Eh? Uh, no, okay. they're, they're not saying how she's getting out. But uh, one of her main concerns, uh, on top of other things, <laughs> is, is that uh, she'll get hit. Oh, so, yeah. So, because she's doing it, number one, at night. <laughs> yeah. You know. you know, so it's That's just... A good point. I don't need any of that kind of worry going on. <laughs> oh, um, Dave says... Uh, oh, Gina says, the video is so funny. Dave says, you can go to Starbucks and order a puppuccino for the good boy. 
Might have to watch out. My dog's escaping to the safe way here. <laughs> I can totally see that. So could I. And people would be terrified until the dogs are like, are you doing? Are you doing? Those guys are cute. <laughs> they are. They really are. That's right. So, um, let's see. We've Every once in a while, we come across not not dumb criminals, but the the the. Like, <laughs> yeah, um, one of those moments. It is, it is, and this one, um, this one I came across this morning, and it comes from Indiana, of Uh-oh. all things. Oh, Indiana! It does not come out of Florida, mm. and and this seems to be coming either a trend or it's just. With with social media, it's more prevalent. All right, all right, what do you got? But it seems to be working its way west. <laughs> well, I will hold judgment because until we see we've it. we've had west. one from Florida. We've had one from Tennessee. Now we have one from Indiana. Uh, all right, what is it? Come on, spit it out, Lois. <laughs> so, what do you got? What do you got? Maybe. <laughs> yeah, it's thinking about it. It's thinking about it. Yep. Another one of these, huh? Another one of these. All right, so here's the headline for you. You guys will recognize this from previous episodes of The Morning. <clears throat> Boone County man arrested for meth blames thrift store pants. So what yep. do we have so far? We've got we, the people who have blamed the wind, a ghost, and now we've got thrift store pants. Y- yes. I think we're on a trend here. They're like trying to build some kind of supernatural <laughs> thing. <laughs> That is apparently causing meth to pop up in people's <laughs> possessions, and it's not their fault. <laughs> so, so this guy was obviously arrested. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, he's saying that yeah, he just bought the pants from a thrift store. <laughs> and, and <that's laughs> They're not how, mine. They were uh, in the pants uh, bucket already. Uh, pretty much. <laughs> Let me guess, the cops didn't buy it. Uh, uh, pr- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? That's slightly more plausible than the wind blew it into my purse or a ghost put it on my nightstand. <laughs> that is Just true. Just say it. <laughs> so, so I love the first paragraph of this article. Oh. Shall I read it? <laughs> Go right ahead. It says, uh, oh boy. How often has this happened to you? You donate clothing to the thrift store and forget to take your meth out of the pockets. What a bummer. <laughs> yeah, you know what? That happens to me all the time. It's a terrible thing. You know, and then some poor bugger gets blamed for what I did. <laughs> Oh, he said, at least uh, the wind, the wind lady, and the ghost guy—they they were like, you know, like, oh, it was supernatural. Like, uh, this is this is slightly more believable, but come on, uh, not really. <laughs> it could happen. I've seen posts where people have gone to the thrift store to purchase things, and there's odd stuff like, you know, well, yeah. in the pockets. So. Uh, that is true. But that normally, you catch that before you put them on. Exactly. <laughs> and I think you know, you you would. You would uh, feel a, um, a bag or whatever in in a pocket. I, I suppose. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's, just it, it, it's working its way west, man. <laughs> For Arizona, the jackalope did it. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> or perhaps the tumbleweeds had it on their stairs <laughs> and it slammed into me. <laughs> and there it is. See that only working if it were in the grill of your car. <laughs> <laughs> you could be walking down the sidewalk in a tumbleweed and bam! It just bowled me over, officer, and somehow it was carrying it. It was trying to get it across the border. <laughs> oh, no! It's a new smuggling operation. Blame it on the Mexican drug lords. The tumbleweeds, that's how they do it now. They stick it on there and it blows across the border. Oh, yeah. no. Yeah, totally plausible. Totally plausible. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness gracious! Oh no, my I, goodness! I, I, I can see it working out that way. Okay. No. Okay. Nope. No, it's as believable as any of these. No, that is true. <laughs> oh, man. oh goodness! All right, what so, else you got um, for us? We said we were going to uh, uh, touch base on the the tech support thing. <laughs> oh yeah, tech support disaster. Uh, pretty much. So I have three links. All right, what you got? What you got? Just 
Pick one. <laughs> the top one you um, we touched on this the one? first. No. Um, this one? Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. That one we touched on a little bit uh, yesterday. Okay. We did the first three. Um, and, oh my goodness. Uh-oh. Uh, just, it, it, it reminds me of Mama Lois. Yeah. <laughs> it, it really does. All right. So this is Chick Support Blunders, right? Yes. Or weirdness. Yes. All right. So let's see. This one out here is a rant, right? Yes. All right, it says, I got a call about a monitor not working. When going through the standard debugging steps, the user said there were no lights. He could not find the power button, etc., etc. Then I ask, is there actually a monitor on the desk? And the answer was, no. Someone had moved it. That's <laughs> 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 Really? Huh? That's not tech support stuff. That's like, <laughs> my monitor's not working because it's not there. <laughs> what? Oh my goodness. Um, once upon a time, I had a user receive an email that our antivirus software promptly quarantined. The user was frantic. I must have that email. He, uh, uh, he said, I'm sorry, it has a virus. You'll have to contact the guy who sent it, have him clean his computer of viruses, and resend. He replied, can't you just turn off antivirus long enough for me to get this email? No. <laughs> That's how the virus spreads. <laughs> no. You know what? It was probably uh, from from that uh, that prince over there in Nigeria. Oh. oh, oh. <laughs> you know, it's a very important email that people should check out. <laughs> Gina's, Gina's giving us the huh face for the no monitor. <laughs> Why would you call tech support for uh, my monitor's not working? It's not there. <laughs> wow. But yeah, the, this, the Nigerian prince email could be very yeah, important. Uh, so, could be. Could <laughs> I see. Once upon a time, I had a user receive... Uh, oh, that's what that was. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm having a moment. <laughs> yeah, having a moment. <laughs> I had a guy complaining that his computer had been hacked. Of course, every time anything strange ever goes wrong, it has been hacked. <laughs> because whenever he booted the computer, opened a program, closed a program, whatever, the entire theme song to Reading Rainbow would play. <laughs> that would drive me nuts. <laughs> I have found the newest prank. That is amazing. <laughs> the computer hadn't been hacked. He had just left it unattended, and someone came by and set every single window sound to play the whole song. <laughs> I changed the theme and was done. Lesson learned. Never leave a computer unattended because there are tricksters out there. That is epic. <laughs> oh. oh, my goodness. That is amazing. Talk about a prank. I mean, I've done all... What? Uh, no, go ahead. You're, you're sad now. No, go ahead. No, no, talk about a prank. Go. What that, it's the perfect prank, man. Ah, ah, ah. It is. Oh. <laughs> Can you imagine? That would probably teach somebody a lesson, maybe. <laughs> maybe. If you're in a work environment, don't leave your computer unsecured. Lock that sucker down or you never know what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, Dave? I. You know what? If this happens, I need video evidence. <laughs> or at least sound. Because. <laughs> What's the matter? Oh, Renee says my mom knew that prince. She even sent him money. Oh, that's terrible. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry to hear that. Yeah. Mm. All right, so let's see what else we have here. Um, one of uh, my favorite repeating requests is I can't remember my email password. Please email me a new password. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> Um, oh, sure, I'll get right on that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. <laughs> Someone was complaining his PC wasn't working at all. After going through the whole, have you checked cables and is it plugged in, etc., he had me thinking he needed a new power supply or something. Then I heard someone in the background say, I wonder how long the power outage will be this time. You need power to run things, man. Oh, <laughs> that is amazing. Unless, unless it's a laptop. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I've had that to... is charged. <laughs> huh? 
<laughs> yeah, I, as uh, you know, I, I told you before uh, that I used to own a computer store here in town, and I actually had a few calls. Uh, this this actually happened to me a few times where the computer wasn't working. There was a power outage, and sometimes it was a computer, and sometimes. It was the internet was out because they they were connected to the Wi-Fi on their phones. Oh no! And and if like is, is your power on? And they're like, no. I'm like, you gotta have power for that part to work. <laughs> but that actually happened to me in the computer store. That one right there. There's a power <laughs> outage. Somebody calls that their computer is not working because the power is out. <laughs> it was amazing. Oh, what? you're good with names. Oh, uh, Nazoni <laughs> says, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for good joining morning. us. <laughs> we appreciate it. Welcome to the show. Yeah, and, that, and, that actually happened to me. And Renee says, derp. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually happened, you know. So it's not just one of those, you know, this is what happened in IT. It happened to me. <laughs> I mean, come on. Uh, let's see what else we heard. User calls saying mouse isn't working. No problem, says me. I grabbed a freshie and headed on over. Upon arrival, the user says, and there's that annoying red light shining in my eyes, too. I turned the mouse right side up and walked quickly out of earshot, promptly losing it with laughter. <laughs> Flat heart goes on the desk. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> I'm surprised he was able to make it away before he started laughing. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Dave, I guess the red light hurts my eyes. <laughs> Dave says, I did that kind of thing to one of my guys on the help desk. He left it unlocked and left it and left for the day. Oh. 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 I hid all the icons, made his desktop background a screenshot of the desktop. Hit the taskbar. <laughs> I've actually done that myself, Dave. Took him yes. 30 minutes of whining. I told him to pick any person on the team to fix it. If they did, he had to turn in his resignation. <laughs> FYI, that was his last day. <laughs> I learned you. Lock your stuff down, people. Actually, the, the, the tech guy I used to work with that mm -hmm. was that used to do stuff like yeah. this, uh -huh. um, he did that to one of the guys who left his unlocked. Man! <laughs> It was a good thing the guy was in a cast. <laughs> That's funny. Because he could not run fast enough to, to get him. But it was hilarious. here. And, and I was in a cubicle over here, and the entryway to the cubicle faced right here. The walkway was here. His, his <coughs> cubicle was over here, so I had almost direct line of sight. <laughs> That's funny. I like it was it. great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right, let's see what else we have here. I had a user come back from a two-week vacation who reported that everything is different. She couldn't really explain what was different, though. Her computer had been off the whole time, and nothing had changed at all. She's a Mac user at home, and I suspected the reason everything is different was because she didn't look at a Windows machine for two weeks. I've actually had that happen to me. Yeah, um, I can see that. Mm -hmm. what, um, I, I used to own a Mac. And I worked in an office that most offices use Windows, mm -hmm. you know, uh, yep. regular PCs uh, with, with the Windows. And every day, it was so difficult to switch. I mean, it, it, it's a good thing I, I'm dyslexic. <laughs> because with Windows, everything is on this side. With Macs, everything is on the left side. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it just, it, it, it was a... It was a difficult switch. So I could see yeah, how I that could... Yeah, I could see it out. You're so used to one thing. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> one day, a user calls because her computer couldn't power on. Okay, so I take the trip upstairs, and sure enough, no power to the CPU or the monitor. I follow the power cords to a power strip, but I couldn't see the power switch. A head of lettuce in a grocery bag had fallen from her desk onto the switch and turned it off. We still laugh about the death by vegetable ticket. <laughs> I love the fact that they named it death by vegetable. <laughs> I like that death by vegetable. <laughs> yeah. I had a lettuce turned off the power. It was pretty good. I had a user at my last job who, when it came time to reboot her computer, would crawl under her desk, unplug every single cable, 
plug in every single cable, and come back up and tell me she rebooted. Even better, when I had her log off and log on, she did the same thing. Wow. <laughs> not how you do it, man. Nope. <laughs> Definitely not how you do that one. Mm -mm. Yeah, that's, you know, it's showing dedication like you're trying to be thorough, but that's not how that works. <laughs> I wonder if she was told that's how you're supposed to do it, though. I don't know. You know, that, ooh, that's an evil IT guy. Might, maybe at some point in the past he did it, he said it as a joke, and now she's doing it yeah. religiously. <laughs> that I is mean, amazing. I, I, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's see, uh, a call from my user. My PC is screaming at me. Found out the computer was beeping because the keyboard tray was holding several buttons down. Eh, I've seen that one. Hey, yeah, so have I. Or if you get a sticky key where, where your oh. key actually sticks in there and it's going... Oh, no. Or if this is... You know what? One of my pet peeves is... I mean, obviously you can fix it, but it's really obnoxious when you haven't set up your computer for it. But when you're playing games... If you hold down the shift key for more than, I think, it's five oh, seconds, that message keys. pops oh, up. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's like, knock it off! <laughs> <laughs> you know, and then you I forget know. you forget to turn it off, and it happens again. It's like, ah, what is it. What is with that? It, it has to do with uh, user accessibility and control. Like, if you can't function on your keyboard for like a for like a handicapped person or something like that oh, okay it makes it so that if you're very slow and like messing with the keys and stuff like that it it, it can help you out with some oh, other things. oh okay yeah. i always thought it was just an annoying thing and no well it is but yeah uh let's see i got a ticket stating user is requesting to be changed back to google from chrome It's called Google Chrome. Just saying. <laughs> uh, let's see. Ticket number 144. My space bar will not work. This is all one word. Ticket number 144. My space bar will not work. All one word. No spaces at all. Description. I would really like some space so I can work. All one word. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> That's it's all one <laughs> string of sentence with no spaces because the space works. That's pretty funny. I've never had that one happen. That's funny. That's funny. It's a big problem when users start mistaking a can of WD-40 for canned air. That keyboard was never the same. It's so oily. Face palm. Yeah. That, oh, my goodness. I can't nope. even imagine. <laughs> a can of WD-40 instead of air. <laughs> no. No. Imagine no. if they had the side of the PC off. Oh. Ooh. Bye bye computer. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> Make sure it's canned air. <laughs> oh man, that is hilarious. Oh, I, can't my even, I just can't even imagine the mess. Oh. Oh no! And that keyboard, yeah, he's right. Just get another one. Yeah, no. <laughs> that, that ain't coming out of there. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, All right, no. guys. Well, that's all <laughs> we have time for today. Wow! Thank you so much for joining us. Have an amazing Friday. Yes. Friday. <laughs> Thank you guys for liking, commenting, and sharing. Don't forget, we've got the new LP and in the sweater out there. And yes. uh, check it out. Don't forget to, that does help support the cause, and we do appreciate it. We need all the help we can get, both mentally and financially. <laughs> <laughs> Gina saying, "Oh my gosh!" <laughs> and Dave says, "Missed the pic I sent you last night." I week. know. I, I keep forgetting <laughs> to bring it up. That thing is awesome. You know what? We'll run late since it's Friday. Oh, I will okay. bring this up. <laughs> Oh well, I, I do have more up. links. We could we could do it on Monday. <laughs> well, I know, but I keep forgetting to bring it up, and it's hilarious. <laughs> I don't know if my internet's gonna work. I well don't know. For oh, Renee's saying not. bye. Gina's saying bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everyone's bailing. You know what, Dave? We'll do it next week. <laughs> well, <laughs> come on, where is it? I'm looking for. I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling, man. Oh, wait, was that? No, nope, no, that's that. not it. <laughs> There's too many things. <laughs> Oh, this is never going to... Oh, no. This is what happens. No. no. I'm scrolling, Dave. I'm scrolling. Oh, I'm scrolling. <laughs> Holy cow. All right. You know what? You guys... We're going to have to fix this. We talk too much. <laughs> oh, come on. It just keeps going. 
and going and going. Dave's saying next week. Next, yeah, it's going to have to be next week, guys. All right, you guys have an amazing weekend. We will catch you on the next one. Yeah, I'm still scrolling. <laughs> All right, who's ready for some Rupert?